Hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and we're playing more Resident Evil. Let's go. So there actually is a path that leads from the main entry to the here. From the lobby to the parking garage. Come on. Underground. Over there. Why would that even exist, right? This place used to be a museum and it's I'm guessing closed. the garage wasn't the garage when it was a museum. But why would there be a passage like this? Uh, yeah, place seems to be out of power. All doors are red. Hmm. Now nah, we don't have the key card. Damn it! We need a key card. Oh, come on. Here, come out. You're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? So her mom I've been looking everywhere brought her through Sherry. here. Brave little girl to leave her house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. On the ground, now. Sherry? Tie her hands. Why are you doing Shut this? Shut up. Tie her. <laughs> Very friendly. Okay then. You tie her up now or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment for starters. <laughs> He's gonna arrest us? Sherry. Come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. You heard her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck ah! <laughs> Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go. You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Doing his job Let right now? Obviously nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Is his go job to abduct young girl? Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! Yeah. I also would feel the same way, Claire. I would absolutely want to destroy him. Stay safe, Sherry. Okay. Key card first. And then that mm -hmm. asshole gets what's coming to him. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. He will. He will. We will fix it. We will fix it all. Okay. So, that door shows white. I'm just going to go update the map. Essentially. Yep. So now it shows red, right? Yep. Let me see, is there anything in the cop cars? Not that I can see. No. Well, uh, there is stuff in here, uh, just not yet, I guess. Because I don't see. Okay, and there's two ways about this. And we have no idea where any of the two lead. Tell you what. This door is open. 
I'm going to assume that this is the way the developers are letting me know to go this way first, welcoming me. Must be where that guy came from. Uh, yeah, they're welcoming me, all right, just to let me know what my actual obstacle is. Raccoon monthly June issue. Attention, all Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right, it's police <laughs> chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage. Mm. Support for abused women, mm, art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we missed anything. Art and animal conservation. Mm. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family, Chief Iron said with a soft smile. Yeah, this is the pig that just abducted. Is the police chief. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Police station B1 map. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I must have never picked this up before because I never had a map coming in this place. Locked. Okay. Requires what? What key is this? Diamonds? Diamonds. Didn't remember how it's called. Okay. So, yeah. This the. That's the way to go. Over here. This is very dark though. Power is up, why is it so dark? Okay. What? Is that a liquor? Blue one. Okay. We might as well combine this here. So supposedly this, yeah, fully heals and restores. Plus it reduces damage taken and guards against poison. Oh, okay. So maybe e wait. Reduces damage taken. Is it possible that? Strengthen one's constitution. Is that what happened? Yeah, I thought it would increase our health, but no. Yeah, I've seen that door, but I hear weird noises from it, so I'm just gonna go look at the rest of this place first. Uh, okay. Uh, I see. So, this is out of power actually. And I'm guessing in there is where you turn on the power. What's making this noise? I don't see anything. It's probably behind that. Oh, shit. Behind that wall. I was going to say. Wait, what? Oh, there's items in there. Okay. Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. Key to patrol car 7439. Details. Bend key. No longer usable, but can still open the car's doors and trunks with its keyless entry buttons. Uh, no. The raccoon then. Arclay's finest. Hiking and fishing supplies. Okay, a well-worn key. A message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal. No, I can't do that. It's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, but that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous. So just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. Mr. Raccoon out. Locked. Well, 
Like, yeah, I can see the guys in here. Are they alive? For sure. Oh. Why do I always do that? Oh, oh come on. Oh, he's dead. Actually dead. So, this note about the raccoons. In classic Resident Evil fashion, there is a collectible that you shoot. Or, you know. And now that I think about it, I've probably missed a lot of them. Right? I'm not sure. I I was under the impression that because I finished this game in the past, the game remembered and wouldn't spawn them in. But it seems to have spawned them in. Probably because I've deleted all my saves, I guess. Okay, so we have the uh, keys to a police car. Is it possibly... Now, the way forward is obviously that way, through the door. But let's see, is it possible that it's one of these police cars? 7439, do they have codes on them? They don't? How do they tell them apart? No. 236. This one does, the other one... Okay, I'm fairly certain it's this one. So, let's see. Yep. Okay. Does it have any... Yeah, it's still 236. <laughs> oh no, it says here. Okay, I can see on the side it still says 236. Uh, okay, whatever. Oh! 13 shot 9mm handgun. First you used double stack magazines. It was a marvel of firepower at the time due to how many rounds it could hold. So wait, does it do more damage than this? Oh, it has a... What? What's that in the game? Why do I not remember this? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, swap. And then just put this here. Uh, so let me see. Can I somehow see the damage they do like in RE7? No. Or in RE8. No, you can't. I'm guessing this does more, right? It can hold a lot more bullets. So I'll empty this gun and then switch to this. Its smaller capacity allows for its small size, making it easy to handle. So this moves relatively faster and it's the same thing. I don't see a difference. Oh, maybe it focuses faster after I move. So if I... Wait, it doesn't unfocus. Okay, so it focuses this fast. And what about this one? Oh, this has no focus because it's a laser sight. So you don't have to wait to do max damage? Uh, I definitely do not remember this, guys. And believe me, I have finished this game. Maybe this weapon is does not exist on hardcore? Like the pouches? make it harder for the player? I'm not sure. Okay, so we can run here, I think, but... I'm pretty certain that's a liquor, right? It sounds like a liquor. It's a liquor. Okay, magazine... There is more stuff? No, there is not any more stuff. So we can just focus on trying to walk past it, right? Oh fuck, there is another one. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, that's the other side of that. Uh, that's blocked, possibly. Yeah, we couldn't. This is the door that's locked that we need to access. This is blocked, this is blocked. Morgue. Yeah, it's an unreadable. So, what are we doing here? Is there any files? Oh, there is. Autopsy record number 53477. Name of deceased Justin Hansen, male, Caucasian, 39 years old. Observations found dead in jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Diseased was a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would still live anywhere in jail, though, the, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you. And I did not reload. Uh, okay, so do I have to just start opening these? Until I find the guy that has cleansed fists? probably st stole something we need, right? Oh. Okay, we'll take that. Uh. Um, can I actually... Yeah, you stay there. No. No. Come on. Oh. Ah. Uh, that's not my guy. His fists are not cleansed. And something tells me that I should just put him back in. I was gonna start shooting him, but I'll just put him back in. Yeah, he's safe there. Not this one. Yeah, stay in there. I don't think that's my guy either. Is this my guy? Ah, uh, yeah. He's as stiff as a... I don't know what. Ooh, the spade key! To manage to... Oh, come on. Not that stiff. Oh. oh no 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 you don't oh, Okay I guess that works too Take this back No So I'm thinking uh, Is it possible that this here has something that I want, like an item with him or something. Or is he just gonna attack me? There's nothing there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll just put you back in. You can stay in there. Have a nice vacation. What do you mean this is no solarium? Uh, shortcut up, shortcut not. Oh, I cannot. I cannot remove it completely, but that's fine. Okay, we got the spade key. We needed a couple of places around here. But it still doesn't give us access to the generator, right? So, how are we supposed to? Oh, maybe we're not supposed to? Maybe we're supposed to gain access to that and the elevator controls and activate the elevator. Yeah, I'm, at this point I'm fairly certain that all I'm remembering is Leon A. 
and that's why everything seems so uh, out of place to me. I probably haven't played Claire A too often. Is she just gonna stand there? She's gonna force us to fight them, right? God damn it. Okay, tell you what, let's start with this. And when the other guy shows up. Damn it, I don't like this at all. Right, I don't like my position here. Uh, let's go like this. This is equipped. Oh. oh, come on. I thought I could just walk through it. Can he come over there? Oh, shit. Oh, come on. What? No. Uh, I'll take this. Yeah. Even if it's temporary. Oh, no. I did it again. I forgot to reload the weapon. Is she dead? No. Okay, let's stay on the move. Oh, come on. The other guy died, I think. He seems to be most resilient. No, he's dead. God damn it. So is the other guy actually dead? Yeah, he's dead. He he died very easily compared to the second one. He managed to again oh god damn it. He hit us hard. Even with the increased uh, defense from the herbs, he still managed to drop it yellow. But I'm guessing it's better than red. Oh, why? What? What? Why would that happen? Like, why wouldn't I uh, be able to stealth past him? I'm fairly certain in Leon's playthrough, play you can consistently uh, just stealth past them. You never have to worry about them, you just walk by them. But in Leon's playthrough, you don't have a grenade launcher, so... I'm guessing... It evens out. Okay, more herbs. What's this? Oh, roll film. What's this? Third floor locker. Okay, so I guess that's the password for the other. Uh, what's it called? The other locker we haven't unlocked on the third floor of the RPD. So, yeah, we don't need to activate the generator over there. That's probably Leon. We need to go over here. Okay, so let's do this. Does it still say reduce damage? Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't give extra health, it just reduces the damage you take. What's this? Shoulder stock. A custom part that greatly reduces kickback and gives it sort of more stable trajectory. That's good. I'll combine it with this. Nice. Oh, it takes two slots now. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I see the lever. I'm just looking for anything else in here. Oh. High grade gunpowder. Sure. That activates the elevator. Ah. Express elevator to the chief's office. He has an express elevator to the garage from his office. So lavish. And the balcony too? Come on. This guy is living the life. And being a prick. What? Wait, what? This is accessible through a hidden door inside his office? Ah, uh, is that what preservation of art means? Because, wait. So he's into art preservation and animal conservation. Is that how he conserves animals? Okay. I guess. Copy of emails to Chief Irons. Please, Chief Irons, as thanks for to your for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must. WB. Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away, but don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just gotta keep doing what I tell you to, and everything will be alright. Uh, you are up to security. You are to up the security around my lab. Your master heads are to shoot any suspicious person on sight. Doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G, and no asshole is going to get in my way. Get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. WP. Well, I know who that is, I think. Uh, but Claire doesn't yet, so I won't spoil it for you. Uh, this in. Um, what do I want? What do I want? I'll tell you what I want because we're going to use though is it worth it carrying two healing items yes it is we're going to use one yeah we're gonna combine these move it over here put these here okay I guess we can put that there that there sure that's fine and we'll put this... No, 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 wait. We'll put this in, because we can pick it up at any moment. Right next to the uh, place where we can make the film. Expose the film? How is it called? What's it called? Submachine gun ammo? Yeah, I'm not getting that around. I don't have a submachine gun yet. There's no reason. Taxidermy log. White tail deer. Uh, least bit hard turned out, but I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe time to move on to more challenging animals. Siberian tiger? Come on. I nearly came. Uh, what? <laughs> I nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly open and its warm gut spilled out. I still smell a wild beast. This is the life. What? Big. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over, and it's all mine forever. What the? What? Oh no, wait. Wait. 
What is that? Big female, 22 years old, 5 foot 3. Oh, that's a human. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, so there's a way out through here. Oh, requires a hard key. I don't have it yet. Okay, so I guess in here. What, you want me to take the flower? Sure. Uh, okay. Poor animals, man. Okay, this guy is kind of a collector, right? He's got lots of stuff here. It's like he robbed the museum. What? Okay. Oh, 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 I see it. I see it. I see it. No, no, no. A relief depicting a pair of lovers. A fancy looking key. That's the hard key. Okay. Repair shop letter. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower. We sent a few spare parts with him and he reported that he left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. Third floor east storage room. For the parts for this. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm guessing we're going back to the police station now. We're only leaving for a little bit. Let me put this in. Don't need to carry it around. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a Mr. Raccoon. Ah, uh, okay. So this is the hallway where the chopper is crashed. The chopper is crashed right here. And we're on the other side of this door. So there's two ways to go. Up and down. Down seems to be a dead end, so we'll go down first. Uh, I'm not lagging this. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, no! Have I really done this? Okay, wait. Don't break it, please. Don't break it. Don't break it. I'll be right back. Don't break it. Like, there's not a lot of places you can use those uh, planks. So, we might as well use them, right? They're in the game. The boards. So we're gonna go board that window now. Hopefully before he breaks in. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Are they attacking any other windows along the way? No, they're all boarded. Okay, so there's two doors here. There's this. And I'm gonna do this. Let me out. Okay. Was somebody trapped in here? Oh, I see. 
Okay, okay, the gem goes in there, I guess. Ooh. I think I hit it, right? Yeah. That box broken. For sure. Confiscation report. Oh, is that a safe pa uh, safe uh, code? Date August 14, 1998. Location RPD, second floor waiting room. Reason for confiscation. A suspicious man was found at the location listed above. When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused but was arrested. A note he had on him was confiscated. It's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, but it's Justin Hanson, age 39, sit resident, single, and a regular fixture in our jail. Yeah, he's the kleptomaniac. He wasn't a bad guy per se, just a bit of a bird brain kleptomaniac. Can't believe he tried to pull a fast one in a police station of all places, though. There's a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. 6 to 11. 6 left to right, 11 left. Okay, so that's why he had the key. He was trying to rob the safe inside a police station. Man, that guy is bonkers. Ah, this is locked with the last key we don't have. Well, it doesn't really matter. Wait, was that? No, there's nothing over there. I thought there was something. Do these open? One does. It has something pretty worthless. But okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You broke it. Congratulations. Is that... Oh, yeah. That's the press room. That's the room we turned the lights on at the start. And I, I'm guessing this is the guy that was dead on the floor over there. Okay, so let's make a quick run back to get the gem and place it in the thing and also unload the stuff, right? Where's the gem, the gem, the gem, the gem? Here it is. Combine. Okay, right, 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 right. That's, uh, it looks like a badge, a special badge for RPD Special Forces Division stars but it's not just a badge it's a usb dongle key a bad shaped usb connector okay there's a couple of places we can use that mm, yeah we'll call it an episode here uh thank you for joining me i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.